Welcome to the Dashboard Effect Podcast. I'm Brick Thompson. And Caleb Oaks. Caleb, just want to start by reminding everybody about the resources we've got out on our bluemargin.com website. Um, if you enjoy this podcast, if this is uh, this is your thing, we've got a lot of white papers, blog posts, snippets from articles, those types of things. So visit there and uh, and enjoy. Check it out. All right. So for today's episode, I wanted to talk about row level and role level security in the data lake environment. Um, and maybe we could just start by defining the difference between those. I mean, they're both abbreviated RLS. What's the difference? So the easiest way to describe it is role is data lake specific. I would, I would say, well, it's not data lake specific. I would say that that's in the data lake, right? Role level security is what's your role and what data can you access um, within, in this case, within the lake. Okay, right. so what folders, what parquet files, yeah, and you get that based on your role. You're mm -hmm. added to some AD group or something that defines that role, and then you can give access to that group. Yeah, like if you're an HR person, you get access to the HR data right from the data lake. So that would be role level. Um, the R other one, R O L E, R O L E, yeah, <laughs> R O L E. Right. Right. The other one you mentioned. Row, R O W, level security is controlling access to what rows of data that somebody can see. Okay. And that doesn't happen in the data lake context because if you have access to the parquet file, you're seeing all of the records or rows of data in there. So where do you handle that? And we're talking about the in the Microsoft stack. So you're living in the Fabric or the the Azure environment, data lake environment. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not actually totally sure if you can do it against a Parquet file. I don't think oh. so, but it, you might be able to. Oh, okay. I mean, there, there I might be a way to can. do it. There's a like if you had a SQL Server, you can do it. Um, SQL Server pointing at the Parquet file. Then no, it's just a SQL Server database, right? Okay. Um, now. There is like there's a serverless endpoint that uses SQL syntax to query your Parquet files and Delta files and stuff, but um, to my knowledge, there's no no way to to um, filter certain rows based on who it is. So okay. do the R O W yeah. level security. Um, so when you give somebody access to the data lake um, and a certain subset of folders or all the folders, they're going to be able to see all the data in it. I think that's a that's safe to say, unless yeah. you figure out. Go otherwise. go with that assumption. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so then, to do the row level security, that's where Power BI comes in, um, and the modeling that Power BI does, because you can add role rules rules R U L E <laughs> <laughs> Jesus to to Power BI. So then it see it says who is looking at this report as you sign in to Power BI. And then it's able to apply the rule, R-U-L-E, that translates to the row, R-O-W, level security role. Um, there's a, yeah, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> um, Could get yeah, lost. Right, anyway, yeah, yeah, stick with me. The, the row <laughs> level security rule, and it maps it, and then it will feed you the, the rows that yeah. you have access to see. Right. Okay. And you can do that a couple different ways. Right. You can just make an RLS rule that says this person has access to the records that match this filter that right. I'm playing. Yep. Or you could put them in a group, an mm -hmm. AD group, and give that group access. And then if you move them out of that group, they lose it. You move someone else in, they get it. Right. Exactly. And, the, mm -hmm. and those that's that's basically the two ways. That's I mean, I guess you could do something right. crazy mm -hmm. with creating views or something specific to people, but... Yeah, you could do that, that, right? Yeah, yeah. I create another Parquet file that only has the data that they could see, or you know, there's a, there's a bunch of ways you could get people access to the data they need. But those yeah. are the easiest ways, and probably the way you should do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So people that would need 
role level security would be analysts who are looking at big bunches of data in the data lake. And uh, if you're giving them that access, you need to make sure you're fine with them looking at all the rows. You're, you're not gonna you're not gonna filter the rows if you give them access into the data lake. Probably right. you, you did give a caveat that maybe there's a way. Yeah, maybe there's a way, right? But. I don't know what it is. Okay. So, um, yeah. Just yeah. Just be ready that they can see all the data. Okay. And all the columns too, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to give someone row level security, don't give them access into the data lake for that same set of data. Right. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Otherwise, they'll if they're clever, they'll connect to it somehow. Okay. Um, and be able to see everything anyway. All right. What else should people consider when they're uh, thinking about? How to how to partition access for users? Anything? I mean, it's nice to think about like how you would set up the different groups, right? So if we go to, if just a simple scenario, um, what's pretty common is that you have a group. But we're, I'm going to talk about row level security in Power BI now. So um, where you'll have a group that can see everything, right? They can see all the data. It doesn't mean they can see all the report pages and stuff, and that gets into a whole other conversation about <laughs> like audiences and and page level security and stuff like that, and report level security. So, um, but they can see all the data that they have access to and that are in reports. <clears throat> um, that's typical to have that, obviously. Then the other um, common role is common role of row level security <laughs> is <laughs> is to uh, get have a rule applied so actually the security actually works and you only get to see a subset of data. Yeah. So those two are the most common, right? Yep. Now in Power BI, you can have a ton of different um, row level security rules, um, but the best way to do it is to use what I would call data driven. So inside of your data, let's say you've got sales reps, for example, and they have access and they own certain deals or clients Accounts, or customers or yeah. whatever, um, they <clears throat> should be attached inside of the data to those deals or quotes or whatever it is. Yep. Um, and you should be able to use their email address to say, okay, this person is signing in and they have access to these quotes. So in that scenario, if you're able to pull that off, which you should strive for, you would just have the two row level security rules inside of your data set. Makes it super simple. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, and super flexible too. So let's say I'm, I'm managing Acme Co., you're, you're another salesperson. Our sales manager uh, gives my account to you. They just change that record mm -hmm. in the system once the uh, data pipeline runs and populates the data lake with that. I no longer have access, and you now do. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like yeah. that. Which, And you can contrast that to the role, R-O-L-E, security in the, in the lake that we were talking about. That's not going to be... You just don't have that flexibility with right. that. Right. So if you need access to a new set of data, you have to physically move somebody from either an AD group to another AD group or actually permission them on that new set of data. Somebody has to do that, right? Yeah. Okay. It's fair to say, though, usually a uh, business user a salesperson probably is not diving into the data lake parquet files themselves. Mm -hmm. That's right. generally going to be a data scientist, an analyst, someone, you can still give them tight scope of what they're allowed to look at. So let's say it's an analyst working in the finance department, they can see all the finance stuff, but someone from the sales department, an analyst there, can't see that necessarily. Uh, but if you really need fine grain control, you've got to get that row level security Yeah, through mm -hmm. at least two methods that you described. Yeah. Maybe three. Exactly. <laughs> right. 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 All right. All um, right. Lastly, can you say row level security five times really fast? <laughs> Did you say row or roll? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think that does it for this discussion. All right. I'll see you next time. See ya.